everyone, welcome to a new episode of Cultural Magazine. We have a lot in store for you in this episode. Hope you're going to enjoy the episode. Let's go take a look. Under the title, Austria and the World, a journey through a thousand years, the Austrian ambassador to Egypt, Dr. Georg Stilfried, Major General Khaled Abdel Ayel, the governor of Cairo, inaugurate a documentary exhibition organized by the Austrian Cultural Center in Cairo. The exhibit contains valuable and interesting information about the relations between Austria and the world and related to Egypt during 10 centuries. The event takes place at the New Abdin Park. Austria and the Arab World Exhibition, A Journey Through a Thousand Years in Abdin Palace Garden, uh, shows interesting stories from the past between Austria and the Arab world, which lie in 10 centuries in Abdin Palace Garden. The exhibition includes a set of large printed paintings that tell interesting stories from the past, including a lot of information that the first giraffe ever known to Austria was a gift from Muhammad Ali Pasha and Egypt in 1828 and that the Austrian-Hungarian Empire was a center for the manufacture of the Fez in the 19th century. Its production represented 80% of the volume of consumption at that time and other issues that express this trend of relations between the European country and the Arab world. Under the auspices of the Minister of Culture, Dr. Ines Abdeddaim, the third Aragoz and traditional puppet gathering inaugurated its shows and activities at the Cultural Park for Children in Sayyida Zainab, Cairo. Aragoz is a form of uh, Egyptian folk puppet show that was included on the UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding in 2018 with the great efforts of folk arts uh, professor Dr. Nahla Imam. The date of November 28th was assigned to the annual International Day of Aragoz or traditional puppets. <laughs> In addition to the text of the children's play Aragosta and Aragos, 
and it also includes studies on the art of aragos or puppets prepared by Dr. Mohammed Shaker Abdullah, the Higher Institute of Folk Arts, as well as many other publications and artworks for the professionals in the traditional art. The ceremony began with speeches for the writer Muhammad Nasif, the head of the center, and Dr. Hisham Azmi, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Culture. The ceremony witnessed the honoring of the graduates of the Aragoz or Puppet School, which has been held by the center in the cultural park a year ago. <laughs> Seventeen Aragos or puppet players were trained in the art of puppets and graduated this year. The players were also trained to manufacture Aragos puppets. Dr. Azmi also honored many creators who enriched the theatrical life and the cultural scene and contributed to preserving the art of Aragos and introducing it to the cultural bodies by establishing Aragos or puppet teams as well as contributing to transferring the experience of puppet players to new youth by awarding them the shield of the council and certificates of appreciation from the Minister of Culture. is a cultural hub that attracts Egyptians from across the nation. It enjoys a lot of different art forms like singing, music and dancing. Let's go find out more about what the Cairo Opera House has in store for us. Within the activities of Egypt Russia Humanitarian Year, the Cairo Opera House hosted the Ballet St. Petersburg to perform Tchaikovsky's masterpiece, Swan Lake.
Well, we invited Ballet St. Petersburg to perform Swan Lake in both Cairo Opera House and Alexandria Opera House, which is one of the masterpieces and the most powerful for Peter Tchaikovsky, and considered as one of the best classical ballet of four acts which merge reality with fantasy. I also want to say that the culture exchange is really important as it benefits both sides, whether for the experience exchange, educational level, or getting to watch and enjoy diverse kind of arts. We started this season launching Egypt Russia Humanitarian Year, which included a lot of activities, starting with the prominent opera St. Petersburg and Ballet St. Petersburg, and ending this year by the Egyptian side performing in Russia. For other countries, we had also the Egyptian French Year, which Opera Paris participated with beautiful performances accompanied by ballet tabloids and I believe that the closing ceremony for Egypt Russia year will be more amazing and unforgettable. Swan Lake is the love story of Prince Siegfried, who on a hunting trip encounters a flock of swans and falls in love with the swan's queen Odette, swears his allegiance and undying love to her. As a result of a curse by the evil sorcerer Baron von Ruthbart, Odette can only take human form between midnight and daybreak, which this spell can only be broken if someone has never loved before, swears an oath of undying love and promises to marry her.
The scenario was fashioned from Russian and German folk tales. The choreographer of the original production was for Witzlav Riesinger and was first premiered by the Bolshoi Ballet in March 1877 at the Bolshoi Theater in Moscow. Cultural Magazine's cameras are always following the latest events taking place around the nation. Let's go find out what our cameras have in store for us. Under the auspices of the Ministry of Culture, the biggest international artistic and cultural festival was held under the title She Arts. افتح عينيك انا عارف الحلم في افكارك سجين افتح عينيك We're very happy to be here, and I think, I mean, beyond the, the, the concert we just heard, we watched fantastic. Uh, this is like a celebration of uh, women creativity. Uh, we are very happy to participate in this. Uh, we in Argentina, we say, we say uh, uh, women move the world. And what we heard tonight is a demonstration that this is true even in the field of art and music. Uh, the, the, the concert we heard was fantastic, I enjoyed very much uh, the traditional Portuguese music which is very rich and I'm very very happy, very moved to, to hear in the, in, in the voice of Susana even some Argentinian songs, that was beautiful, that was great. Well, I think it's fantastic because as I said uh, the, the, the contribution that women, the women creativity uh, does to art is it's, uh, very important and uh, again what we heard today uh, is a demonstration of that I mean uh, art in general needs women She Arts is an international art and cultural event featuring women in a diverse range of artistic creations that tell and share female stories and perspectives through the community my first time to perform in Egypt. I'm not alone. We are actually five, uh, six with a lighting designer. The piece is uh, staging four dancers. Uh, it's called La Ronde Quatuor. It is contemporary dance, but this piece is um, 
It's like a square in a circle. It's also it's very uh, sensitive because it's also about a sort of a community, how being all together, you have your own space and you build a community. And at the same time, it could be almost like a, a very specific uh, mechanics, like watch almost, like Swiss, <laughs> Swiss mechanics. No, I'm joking, but it is... Uh, um, yeah, it, it is about dancing together and um, sharing the charge of being together. The body is not only alone, it's, we are all related almost constantly in, in this circle. How can I say more simply? The dance is a circle itself. Like in old time, the circle was a, a base of dance all over the, the earth. And we revisit the circle with our new way of moving uh, but the circle itself the dance is, itself is a body for me joining the four person I'm excited to to hear the comments and feel the room yeah um, of course silence is maybe specific but most of my work is also working with this there is a music inside of dance itself, there is a music in the bodies, there is a music in the empty space, so that's the music we play with and we share the silence and the silence make we, all the spectator and the dancers makes us more a community in a sense because we hear everything. So let's see how it, how it comes and enjoy the overall festival that it's uh, nicely bringing different arts together also that's uh, that's nice you can go from music to dance and other experience This event incorporates various facets of arts by female artists from all around the world or artists who portray women in music performances visual arts poetry and other popular culture activities to the end of this episode of Cultural Magazine. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more on Nile TV.